Hey babes, it's Siren from Siren Serenity and I'm back with a sexy, sultry new video and I'm so excited to get into it. All about sex magic, how to manifest with your O's and everything you need to know, okay? Okay, so if you are new here, thank you for joining me. I hope you love this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you are notified every time I post a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about sex magic and what it is, how to use it, and I'm even going to throw in a little fun way you can um, add to this and make a ritual out of it. So let's get started. Sex magic, what is it? Well, first I want to say that sex magic is something that I practice often and it's not something that you even have to have a partner for there is solo sex magic there is couple sex magic um, or partner sex magic and i'm going to cover both of those i don't want to leave anybody out i also do want to point out that i'm going to be referring to feminine and masculine energy um, that does that doesn't mean this has to be with a man and a woman um, it could be you know any gender whoever you know you love sex magic is the act of harnessing and using your sacred sexual arousal and your sexual energy to help you manifest the desires that you want to pull in and manifest into your life. In my opinion, and I think that most of us can agree that sexual energy is some of the most powerful energy there is. I mean, when two people come together and use both of their sexual energies that is how you know children are brought into this world the biological way okay so it's a very very powerful energy that can be used to create and to manifest sex magic works by focusing your intent during arousal and up to the peak of your orgasm and as you envision that intent as you have that within you know your mind's eye you within the waves of your orgasm you are putting it out into the universe and you are drawing it back in to your body and into your being okay this is actually scientifically proven i'm not going to get into that in, in this video but you guys can research it and find out more about sex magic too that way when you have the intent and you have the focus and you have you know that intention within your conscious and your subconscious especially your subconscious and you hit that peak of an orgasm you are sending out what you want but as women we are receivers and we will gain that energy back within ourselves and then that is how we manifest okay so like i just said um you know it could be you could use this as a solo sex and masturbation or you if you have a partner or you know a husband or you know you're in a relationship you could do it that way just remember like as you know the woman we are the receivers and you know when we have an orgasm our body clenches and we are sucking and receiving um, that energy so just think about that when you are doing your sex magic and you know you're focusing and you can do this by um, I'll get into it later more but um, envisioning a sigil that you've created that um, entails what you're trying to manifest or you can do it by um, saying a, uh, a mantra or an affirmation during sex and arousal and as you have your orgasm now a question I'm sure I'm gonna get is you know how often should you be practicing sex magic and how you know how frequently should you be you know setting the intentions when you have an orgasm i believe in storing your sacred energy um as in i don't technically believe that every single day you should be releasing your sacred energy i think there is so much beauty and power power and just um just potent energy when you store it at least for you know five to seven days and then you release um that is just my belief of course this is just my you know way of doing things it's up to you i mean if you're 
feel like doing it a lot, that's up to you. But I think that there is something so powerful in storing that sacred energy for a few days and then releasing. And especially when you store it and you release with intention and you release with the intent to manifest with it, I think it's so much more powerful. Um, but yeah, especially I think that, um, I think that if you are trying to manifest on full moons, I think that you should never waste a full moon or an orgasm, um, on a full moon or a new moon or when, you know, if there's like an eclipse or if there's, you know, some, you know, big astrological event, if the energy calls for creation and, um, and bringing things to fruition and manifesting, I think that, that those are the most beautiful times to practice sex magic. Next, I wanna get into um, solo sex magic and couple or partner sex magic. I absolutely think that sex magic is vital whether you are single or whether you are in a relationship or whether, whether you are married. I think that, um, you know, your sexual bond with your partner or just with yourself is just so important, even outside of manifesting. It just helps you get in touch, you know, with one another or with yourself. And it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So um, I want to say for solo sex magic, um, this is a beautiful way to um, gain self-confidence and gain, you know, that sexy feeling within yourself and to just build up your self-confidence and just make you radiate um, and it's a beautiful thing I think that you know you should if you want to if you're comfortable with it to you know experiment experiment with toys or you know sexy lingerie even if you are single um, don't like you can I'm somebody who's very ritualistic and I will go in later about you know ritual a ritual you can do to practice sex magic whether you're single or in a partnership but you know make it a big thing like go to like fenty.com and buy yourself some sexy lingerie and you know go to the sex store or something and buy a toy and just really um get into it and the more you practice and the more you do it um definitely don't always think that the first time you practice sex magic the next day you, everything that you you know set intention for is going to come to fruition you know sometimes things take time so practice do this over you know a month or two period and just watch and see you know how far or how much you evolve like within yourself and just how how much sexier you feel and how much more confident you feel and i promise you that it will make a difference okay so you also don't have to go all out and buy lingerie and and all of that stuff like you know you don't have to do any of that but if you're someone who just needs like that boost and that confidence and you know I think that that is a good idea too now next for couples I love the idea of couples sharing in sex magic and you know coming together and manifesting together when you have two people that have the same intention it can just really just multiply and just turn into this beautiful beautiful powerful um ritual between you guys and you know it can really bring on powerful powerful manifestations i do want to say though i would never ever tell someone to you know go have a one night stand and with that person do sex magic um we are talking about sharing energies here we are talking about you know um influencing each other's energies and we're talking about magic so it's very important to be careful who for one who you're having sex with right but who you're also um, participating in sex magic with i would only ever do it with someone i was 100 percent comfortable with someone that is a conscious human being and on the same length wavelength as me and someone who is familiar with magic and uh, manifestation or at least interested in it right so you know we have to um just be aware of that and just know that you know if i want to do this it has to be with someone who actually you know knows what we're doing we're on the same page and you both have to have um you know the same intent the same manifestation you know you could come into it and say you know we want to you know better our marriage we want to um you know evolve our marriage and grow our marriage and you know but you both have to have the same intent when you go into it 
Okay, so just when you are thinking about having, um, you know, partnered sex magic, just be aware of their energy. I mean, you don't ever want to lay down with a negative evil person to begin with, but you don't want to be swapping energies and letting that person influence your energy if they are just not a good person. Okay, so just be cautious of that. Pick conscious partners if you can. Or if you're just beginning on your spiritual path and say you and your man are both or your woman are both, um, you know, starting on the spiritual path and you guys are curious about sex magic, like definitely try it out. And um, I'm going to share some things later on how you can cleanse energy and how you could just make it a really fun ritual, whether you're solo or whether you're partnered. So next, I want to get into the fun part and talk about how to practice sex magic okay so i'm going to explain a little bit i mean i'm going to explain a lot of bit about how to practice sex magic and i'm also going to include in um, how you can make it a ritual you do not have to do this okay like i said in the beginning like i'm a ritualistic person i enjoy like making it a whole thing and but if you don't want to do that if you don't feel called to do that then girl or boy don't do that okay so yeah, let's get started. So for me, I, especially if you do it with a partner, I would always recommend, you know, like <laughs> I, I literally just thought in my, in my head, like all kinds of aphrodisiac foods and like have a platter of like aphrodisiac foods and melon and strawberries and stuff. I don't know. I just get way into things. Okay. So anyways, the first thing that I would do when especially with um i mean whether you know i was your solo or you know you're in a partnership sex magic thing is cleanse your energy so you can do this a couple of ways um you can do like a cleansing bath you can do um like a sea uh um himalayan um sea salt bath or you could do just a regular sea salt or epsom salt bath and just to cleanse your body to cleanse your aura and your spirit um, if you're in a partnered um you know relationship you guys can both do this you guys can both take a hot sexy bath together that might be fun um or you know you can just simply sage yourself and or use palo santo or you know some type of sage wand um to cleanse and just to go around your body and cleanse your body and that's a great way to do it um i had this idea the other day was just like if you don't have a bath um because some people just don't don't have bathtubs and that's okay like there's you could still use an epsom salt or a, a sea salt um, I was thinking about making like a sea salt scrub and just, you know, and you and put, you know, the type of herbs and oils you want into it and use that as a way to cleanse your body too. So that's a great idea, but definitely, um, cleansing your spirit, cleansing your aura first, um, is always, you know, a good idea. Like I said, you don't have to do it, but I would, I would probably say, you know, to, to cleanse any negative energy that you might have on you. The next step in um, sex magic is to write down all of your intentions, what you're trying to bring in, what desires are you trying to manifest with this sex magic, okay? So you do this whether you're solo, and then if you have a partner, you both sit down and you both write out your own um, your own intentions. Just make sure that if you have a partner, you guys both have the same intentions. Okay, so you can write these down and to make this, you know, more fun and more sexy is to add some candles and I suggest red or pink or you could do a wh white candles and white kind of, you know, can replace any color candle. Okay, so another thing you can do is light some incense and I would suggest to do anything that has to do with love or passion or desire and that would be like rose, lavender, jasmine, um, hibiscus is great. Okay, and just charge it and set your intentions when you light your candles and set your intentions when you light your, um, your incense too. And as I said earlier, um, when if you decide to do a cleansing bath you can all when you do your epsom salt you can do epsom salt you could do sea salt you could put florida water in um 
in your bath to help cleanse, but you can also add herbs, okay? So some great herbs would be, again, rose, lavender, jasmine, hibiscus and catnip catnip is so powerful for sex and desire and it calls in it pulls in and attracts so that is a great one too um, another really good idea is to make a you know an herbal tea with these herbs that you know resonate with the energy of love okay so you don't have to do everything that i just mentioned but if you pick one or you know if there's something that stood out to you try that i think this is step three that we're going to get into with sex magic and manifesting with your o's and that is either solo you meditate on your desires and your intentions or when you're with your partner you guys lay together and you guys meditate now this does not have to be a long drawn out process this could be a five to ten minute thing and you guys both just meditate and envision what you both or what you are trying to bring in and pull in and manifest into your life okay so during this time um, you can you know put on some relaxing music some meditation music you can do if you're somebody who likes binaural beats or um, high vibe frequencies this is a good time to you know add that and just get you into that meditative minds mindset and in it's so important to envision so if there's something you have to do to really get um, into you know that envisioning mood um, do that it's really important that you, if you are with a partner, that you guys are both, you know, you can envision your, you know, you guys don't have to envision the exact same things, but you guys are both, you know, envisioning and it's, you have to envision, but you have to just feel those feelings of what you think it would be to have it. So if you guys are, you know, um, let's say you're trying to manifest, you know, high pay, higher paying jobs or, you know, just more frequent money flowing into your life when envisioning and feeling that feeling you have to you know just feel what it would feel like to you know just to have that money flowing in and you know envision you guys taking trips or you know buying something new that you guys have been wanting with that extra money and when you feel that feeling that is just so powerful okay so and if you're if you're single and you're doing some solo sex magic this is you know very important for you too to envision and to feel the feeling it would feel to have those manifestations some other great things that you could do to add to a sex magic ritual is i talked i said this earlier and it's to make a sigil sigils are so powerful and i know a lot of witches out there love doing sigils so i had to bring that up but I'm not gonna explain in this video how to make a sigil. I will do a video on that if you guys want me to, but to create a sigil that entails everything that you are trying to manifest with this sex magic and then stare at it and program your sigil and then when you are manifesting, you just envision that symbol. And then while you're being aroused and while, you know, if you're having sex and you know, you're peaking as you have an orgasm, you envision that symbol and that alone, you know, that is going to pull that energy and that, um, that symbol and what that symbol stands for into your life. Next, we are going to get into the arousal part of your sex magic. And this is kind of a section that's up to you that, you know, is good to be in touch with yourself. So you know what gets you in the mood and you know, you know, what makes you aroused. Okay. So, you know, I would suggest if you are, you know, in a relationship, you guys can give each other like a, sen a sensual, um, massage or kind of going back to what I like kind of talked about earlier is, um, get like a platter of like, um, like fruits and just like you could dip fruit and chocolate and feed each other or you know whatever at this this stage kind of you just have to do what you feel called to do and you know do how do whatever makes you arouse okay so you know this is a good time to you know just start touching and playing whether you're with yourself or a partner and you know just get yourself aroused and in the mood and as you play and you touch and you get aroused when the time is right let that um, lead in to your sex okay um, I do want to say that you know the longer that you guys do foreplay and you know 
I think it helps to really build up um, that end result, that O. Okay, so just have fun with it and play and, you know, do some foreplay and just, you know, really just be in the moment, okay? So as you are doing this, as you are, you know, building up the sexual sacred energy from you, you know, whether it was programming that sigil or, you know, um, from your meditation and writing down your intentions, that intent is, you know, your conscious mind is focused on, you know, what's happening in front of you, right? But your subconscious mind is focused on you know that intention and it knows what you want to manifest okay so and that is just so powerful while you are you know developing and growing this sacred you know build up this sacred sexual arousal and energy okay so let that um, lead into your sex whether it's with yourself or a partner and then, you know, as you are building up, as you are, you know, feeling the waves of that intense and beautiful orgasm, you are going to think and you are going to, you know, remember, you know, what it is that you want to bring to fruition. And you, like I said, you can, you know, say as this is happening and as it's building up and you can feel it coming on, you can, um, you know, say a affirmation or a mantra, or this would be the time to, you know, think of and envision that sigil. Okay. So as it's building up, say that mantra. I love to do the mantra thing, um, or the affirmation. That's usually what I just like to do. And then as you know, you have that orgasm, you repeat it and you say it out loud. That makes it so much more powerful because as that energy is just, you know, um, just happening within you and it's just so powerful and then you speak it to the universe it's just like the energy just radiates you know through the room and you can feel it okay so that's another option too you know like if you don't feel comfortable saying your affirmation out loud or not even just an affirmation you know as your orgasming action say it out loud if you can scream it okay so that is a powerful way to manifest and when you do this you are going to feel the energy okay you are going to feel it you are going to feel like exhilarated and powerful okay have you ever like had solo sex or sex with somebody else and afterwards like you felt drained um when you start using your o's for magic and intention and manifesting when you are done you are not going to feel that you are going to feel empowered and strengthened and you know that you just use that potent vital sacred energy for good use and it wasn't just you know because you were horny and you wanted to get it on and you know you know that you took that energy and you did with it what is supposed to be done with sexual energy you're supposed to create with sexual energy you know whether it's a child or you know you can create you know manifestations and use that and work it that way too when you are finished and you are done just lay back and relax and just know that everything that you you know are desiring and your manifestations and your intentions are sent into the universe okay and just know that the universe heard you and that the universe is taking care of it. And then you just need to do your part, you know, to work towards those manifestations. Okay. I don't ever like talk about manifestation, manifestation and be like, you know, you can manifest in 24 hours. I think that everybody's different. Like don't expect like you to wake up in the morning and all your dreams to be coming true. You know what I mean? Like this might take you several times of, you know, um, doing se sex magic on that one intent. Okay. I mean, it all really depends, um, you know, just how aligned you are with the universe and all of that. But, um, it's, this is a great way to manifest. Okay. This is between fire magic and sex magic. Those are my two favorite. And I would definitely say sex magic is number one. Okay. So yeah. And, and another thing about manifesting is that once you do it, you just let it go. Like the next few days, like don't sit there and be like, when is it going to come? When is it going to come? Like, or, you know, I wonder if I did this right or, you know, just keep constantly focusing on it. You have to just let it go and you have to let your subconscious and the universe do the rest of the work. 
I also want to add a couple more things you can add if you want to make this into a sex magic ritual, okay? So definitely you can add crystals and you can like lay them around your room or put them around your bed. And I would, obviously I would suggest rose quartz because it's for love um, or any type of um, red, pink, um, crystals like ruby or garnet would be great that's um, great for the root chakra so definitely add crystals um, if you have like moon water that you want to incorporate you know whether it was in your cleansing bath or in your tea or something like that that would be very very powerful to use like say you you just you know can't wait for the full moon to do some sex magic but you have moon water okay girl use that moon water okay so add it to your tea add a little bit to your bath those are great ways to you know up the energy and you know really um make that that ritual powerful okay um another thing is by adding um oils like manifestation oils or intention oils or i sell i create and make enchantment oils within my shop um, Love Goddess would be from my shop would be amazing for a ritual like this. Um, Hot Girl would be another great sh uh, oil for my shop. You can even use these if you're like massaging yourself um, or your partner. External use only. Okay, um, this would be great to you know add in a massage or just to you know um, you know anoint your body with. Okay, and just to really you know bring that. Um, aromatherapy into the ritual. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. This might be my new favorite video, okay? So if you guys love this video, please hit the like button for me and um, let me know in the comments if you like it, if you're gonna try it, if you've done it before, um, if there's any other videos you guys wanna see from me. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Girl, what are you doing? And definitely hit that um, bell button too. Oh my God, there's so much to say. Hit the bell button so you can get notified when I post new videos, okay? You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and all of those links will be down below. So check those out too. I am sending you guys all so much love. Bless me, babes.